Well, hello, everybody. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. On my table, you can see that I have my steel scents, some of them kind of strewn about because I'm going to be looking through those for a new variety that was just discovered. Let me read you this title right here on Coin World. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Says breaking news, experts identify overdate 1943 over 1942 S cent. So how cool is that? Originally, I guess they thought that these right here were just double dies, and but it's not the case, not the case right now. They're finding out that this was actually, and you can see, let me zoom in a little bit right here. Um, like on the three, you can see it. There was actually a two printed on there and then the three came over top of it. But a good way to tell is if you have most likely a microscope or a really good magnifying glass or a loop or something, you want to go ahead and look around the three on the this part right here, and especially on the right-hand side, you can see that extra metal. And you can see the nine right here, how there's, how there's doubling on the nine. And right here, the bottom of the one, you can definitely see it. And some on the four as well. But first things first, look for the S mint mark, and then start looking for that that doubling, and you might have yourself this overdate variety. Really, really neat. So that's why I have my coins out right now, because I want to see if I have it. Um, I can't do it on camera because it does take a close up, you know, ability right there. Let me actually try a couple. I'm going to scroll this thing down a little bit here. We're going to see how close I can get and what we're looking for. You know, I feel like I've looked through these all before pretty closely, but I don't know. It's just finding something out that's new in an old hobby like this, and especially an older coin where you thought you knew everything. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting to come in and go, wow, there's something new, causes excitement. So it, it'd be worth it just to check yours out. I'm gonna really have to use a uh, loop to really identify these right here. Uh, on the surface, I don't see anything, but yeah, you're just really looking for some doubling and then potentially that's gonna be this new variety. So if you do have one of the um, coins, maybe you had it graded or whatever from uh, NGC or PCGS and they identified it as a double die from 1943S, uh, maybe you should have it regraded into this new new variety that exists. I looked around for some pricing on this and it's just such a new thing, a new topic that nobody really uh, has anything priced on those yet. But it's one of those things, um, you know, errors and varieties. It's, it's really kind of what somebody's willing to pay for those kind of things. So yeah, who knows? Who knows what this could be worth? Um, you know, maybe not as much as a uh, 1944 steel cent or something like that, but uh, still, it might be a little bit of a premium once you start having them graded. But again, the first thing you want to look for is that S mint mark, and then I would go from there. So once you see the S, then start looking around for that doubling and see what you have. I need to get in here with a loop or a magnifying glass. I'm going to put all my S's kind of separated and uh, try to find out, try to see if I have this thing. Most of my steel cents just... I don't know, they're just kind of junky. I found most of them coin roll hunting, um, or I'd get large, you know, bags of uh, scents and I would go through them. So not a lot of great condition ones. And, you know, even with error coins and varieties, you really want to have coins that are in nice condition uh, in order to have extra value there or, or much value at all. But still, I would just like to find out that I had one. I think that'd be kind of, kind of fascinating, wouldn't it? To be able to, to come back and go, oh, wow, I have one of these newly discovered coins in an old coin within an old hobby. I find it fun. I have people that email me all the time and, you know, they're, hey, spectacular, look at this coin, tell me what you think. Does this look like a, a variety to you because this variety is not listed anywhere? Uh, that right there looks interesting. I got to definitely check that one out pretty close, put that to the side. But uh, yeah, people email me that all the time, you know, asking me their opinion on, you know, something that's not listed. Hey, if you have something that is uh, not listed in any kind of books, no varieties, um, not any kind of cherry picker's guide or anything like that. You know, uh, coin forms are really your best bet. Get some really high quality photos, uh, upload them to a coin forum where the experts in some of these coins exist. I mean, some people literally only collect one or two coins and that's it. So they've seen, you know, thousands upon thousands of just one particular coin. And those people are on forums just hanging out waiting for their knowledge and their expertise to be, you know, offered. So get on some coin forums. Um, which ones? Hey, whatever one seems to treat you right, to be honest with you. I've had some experience uh, that was good and bad on different coin forums. 
And so I can't tell you one's better than the other one. This is an interesting one too. I got to double check this one. But that would be my my advice to you. Um, listen, I'm going to go through these with a magnifying glass and a loop just to see if I have anything cool. If I do have something cool, maybe I'll have it sent off to get graded. Why not? I want to see that new uh, variety um, and identifier on a slab. I think that would be so cool to have that. Anyways, I got to go for now. Check your steel sense out. You just never, ever know. And in fact, you know what you should do? Check all your coins out very, very closely because you don't know. They just now are finding this variety exists. Who knows what's really still out there? Could be anything. Anyways, I appreciate you for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. If you go check out your steel sense, make sure you do. Spectacular is out. Yeah.